Our next guest tonight recently had a first-hand look at the porous border between Mexico and the United States. We're joined tonight by Dr. Kelly Ward, uh, running as a Republican for the U.S. Senate from the great state of Arizona. Uh, great to have you with us. And uh, the president reasserting uh, his interest in that wall, making it very clear that he wants the Border Patrol to shut down those caravans and not permit uh, illegal crossings, and even willing to add it as a condition of agreeing to a new NAFTA uh, treaty. You're right, Lou. It's great to be here with you. And I think President Trump has been working very diligently to renegotiate NAFTA in a way that is beneficial to the United States and to United States businesses and workers. And uh, unfortunately, Mexico has been unwilling to secure their very own southern border. And that's led to people from Central America crossing Mexico illegally and then coming to our border. So if Mexico can't understand or is unwilling to help us with this problem, I think that Donald Trump is going to have to do everything possible, take every step necessary to make sure that they do understand that we are serious about securing our border and building the wall. You know, one of the things I, I, that I find uh, ironic, and that is that uh, Vicente Fox, who is a blowhard without, uh, without well, anyway, he's, he's just a provocateur, uh, to put a kind word on it, uh, he talks about how what an insult Donald Trump is to Mexico. When in point of fact, Donald Trump is the only president who has said to Mexico without condescension, uh, without patronizing, that you're going to be responsible as a partner, a geopolitical economic partner, and you're going to secure your side of that border, and we're going to expect you to do so. And furthermore, it is a grown-up responsibility for any nation of 120 million people, which is Mexico, uh, and it's about time they behaved accordingly. What do you think? Uh, yes. I, you know, I think it's been very clear. Uh, President Trump has been clear from the time he was on the campaign trail to the time he's been in the White House that we will build the wall, that we are going to secure our border, and that the wall is the biggest and most important part of, of our plan to do that. Uh, there are other things that we can do to help with that, but building the wall is first and foremost, not only as a symbol of a right and wrong way to come into this country, but as a serious det detriment to the people who are trying to bring bad things into our country, whether it's illegal drugs or dangerous weapons or human trafficking and putting people who are trying to come to this country in significant harm's way. Um, you know, Vincenti Fox has to understand and the world needs to understand that any sovereign nation has the right to secure its own borders as well as decide who's well, going to come in to our country. Yeah, I think, by the way, it's more profound than that. It has a responsibility to its people. Uh, yes. They are bringing across, uh, the, the cartels are bringing across our border uh, every day, uh, huge amounts. In fact, over the course of every year, the majority of methamphetamines, marijuana, heroin, and cocaine yeah. come from Mexico. That is, that, those are, that's a death warrant uh, for right. our young people. And the president is the only one who's had the guts to stand yes. up. And it's unconscionable. actually say it's got to stop. I, I, you went to the, uh, I understand, the border here recently. We want to put up some of that video to show people what that, uh, that border, uh, border security system looks like. Uh, uh, you're there with an Arizona rancher. Uh, and uh, let's get to the fence if we could, because I'd yeah. really like to see that, uh, folks, if we could. Oh, I, I met with, with Mr. Chilton, who's been down there right. for 30 years. Yep, he's and a great guy. Yeah, there's four strands of barbed wire that there are supposed are. to be keeping these druggers from bringing their wares across our border, just like you said. Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm so upset about the omnibus bill, because it fa funds Planned Parenthood to the tune of half a billion dollars. It fully funds Obamacare. It, it puts money in for border security halfway around the world, and there is not one dollar of new money for our wall and our border security and our national well, sovereignty. You know what, though? The fact is that uh, the second they want to uh, do that, the president is exactly right, as usual. Uh, all they have to do is appropriate the money and make it happen. Uh, and that is just simply a, a nasty petulance on the part of uh, a lame duck speaker uh, who decided he would not only not fund the wall, he would also reduce the number of immigration and customs enforcement agents. Uh, and that's all on him. 
Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, so. And it's on those Republicans that voted yes, like, like my opponent, Martha McSally, the only Republican in Arizona who voted for that monstrosity and then tweeted out and sent out a press release about how proud she was of it. I'm not proud of it. I think, no. I wish it would have been vetoed. But the good thing is that President Trump is never going to sign another bill like that. And the way yeah. we assure that happens is by sending people to Washington who will never send a bill like yeah. that to him well, or you any executive. Well, you mentioned the veto. And, and yeah. You, you kind of, you're going to run against, are you going to run against the president or are you going to run against McSally? Oh, no, I'm running against McSally. I'm all for the president. I'm so ready for, better, uh, he needs reinforcements. I would urge you to remember that the reason he signed it uh, yes. is because he wanted that funding for the uh, the military. I'm all for funding our military. As a military wife, as a person who's had to send my husband into harm's way, I want our military to be the strongest in the world. There you I just go. want to have strong there people who go. don't swallow poison pills. Like the military, keep those sights right on it. Yes. All right, Dr. Kelly Ward, thanks for being thanks, with Lou. us. Thanks, Lou. We appreciate it.